Hi guys, it's Weedit, and I'm here with a quick haul. Um, I was lacking some basic paint, and I need to explain. Uh, some time ago, I had two different painting stations, and I had one for my uh, good artist quality stuff, and I had another painting station in a different location, um, a different house even, where I had my studio quality stuff, where I just kind of played and dibbled and dabbled. And now I've moved all of my art supplies to one area. I have areas, I should say, that are set aside for certain things. And one of them is like painting, so I've got studio quality and artist quality. And I like that because I find that sometimes if I'm working with studio quality materials, I feel freer to experiment because I don't think I'm, oh, what if I waste my paint or anything. So I do keep a good stock of studio quality, and I discovered in my oil paints, I don't even know how this happened, I didn't have colors like burnt umber, burnt sienna, raw umber, and raw sienna. Now these are basics, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure what happened, but, um, so I loaded up and I don't know why this tube, I don't know why I ordered a huge tube of this. Burnt Umber is a basic color so I don't mind, but I was a little shocked. I, I didn't realize I was ordering the, the huge tube when it came in. That's okay. And then I was trying to do some landscapes in oils and I was, I wanted to play with some colors. Now I did discover that also in the the good paint and artist quality paint I was missing some basics surprise surprise so I got raw umber raw sienna yellow ochre burnt umber and burnt sienna in the Windsor Newton um, artist quality oil paints so those are just some basics that I was missing and I don't know how I, I, I don't know how, I don't know why. I guess I wasn't using those colors. It's been a while since I did any oil painting. So I guess I just, that really floors me, honestly. Um, so I picked up some colors too that would help with, say, landscape and some floral. I've got Windsor Violet, Brown Matter, Purple Matter, Purple Lake, Mars Violet Deep, and then Windsor Green and Zinc White. I had plenty of titanium, but I didn't have any of the Zinc White, so I picked up a tube of that. And then uh, these last four items, again, this is just a little haul, uh, are ones that I am stupidly excited about. This is a tube ringer so that I can get the last little bit of any paint, whether it is oil or acrylic or watercolor, anything that comes in a tube, even a plastic tube, I can use this little gadget on. So I was very excited to get that. And then this silly coil. And you know, this was not expensive and I'm probably most excited about this one. Um, this is for oil paint. You can use it for other paints, obviously. But for me, I bought this for oil. And you put your um, odorless mineral spirits or terpenoid or whatever you want in here and you the coils are supposed to be gentle on the brush brush, blah, brush bristles so it won't damage your your paint brushes and the paint will drop down below of course and so it helps keep your brushes nice and clean I have been using and it's been fine I don't have any complaints with it but one of those little plastic round scrubby pot scrubbers that uh, is won't damage like the Teflon in your pans I would put one of those down in a jar and use it basically the same way uh, and, and that was fine but I like the idea that this one is designed not to ruin the bristles of your brush so I figured for six dollars that was a pretty good investment to make. And then the last two are for my acrylic pores. The first one is this 
try art, which I, I do like, and this is artist quality. This is burnt crimson, just gorgeous. That is a beautiful, beautiful, rich color. And then I also got iridescent bronze. And again, beautiful, beautiful color. And I do plan on using these together. I'm really um, careful when I use reds in my acrylic pour videos or whenever I do an acrylic pour, not just a video, because I don't want to end up with something that looks like it came from a microscope slide or that I might see in biology lab. And a lot of times if, if a person uses red or pink, especially in conjunction with white, uh, it does look like <laughs> It does look like something I would see in biology lab, and I, I really don't want that look. It, I find it kind of disturbing. <laughs> so I'm real careful, but I'm thinking that maybe using um, titanium buff with this red and this bronze and then one other color that I really haven't decided on uh, to do a pour would be probably, hopefully, just beautiful but um, there'll be a video on that. So thank you for being here with me while I shared my quick little uh, mini haul and I will be doing another haul video soon. There are some things that I did purchase and there are some things that were given to me. So um, I will have a video on that coming up whenever the stuff does get into my grubby little paws. So thank you guys, bye.